greetings to all in this video i will talk about elport syndrome its clinical features and management there are many other names for elport syndrome such as congenital hereditary hematuria hematuria nephropathy deafness syndrome hematuric hereditary nephritis hemorrhagic familial nephritis hereditary nephritis etc Elport syndrome is a hereditary disease characterized by renal function impairment, hearing loss and eye abnormalities. This syndrome was first described in the British medical literature by Dr. Cecil Elport in 1927. Later on several cases were described and the disorder was named after Dr. Elport in 1961. The cause of Elport syndrome is mutations in the genes. which are responsible for the synthesis of a protein called type 4 collagen collagen 4 a3 a4 and a5 are affected in this syndrome these genes play an important role in the renal glomeruli fu filtration function type 4 collagen is also an important component of cochlear part the organ of corti the receptor organ of the sound waves This protein is also important for normal shape of the lens and the normal color of the retina. There are three subtypes of Elport syndrome. First is autosomal dominant, second autosomal recessive and the third is X-linked. The clinical features of Elport syndrome Variations may occur in the clinical manifestations of the disease ranging from mild to severe course of the disease. The disease progression is more common in males with Elport syndrome than in affected females. The most common features are as follows. Blood in the urine, usually microscopic hematuria but sometimes it may be gross. Loss of albumin and other proteins in the urine called albumin urea and protein urea. Frequently it is associated with high blood pressure due to progression of renal disease gradual loss of renal function resulting in end stage renal disease progressive bilateral hearing loss which is sensory neural deafness due to abnormalities of the inner ear organs defects in different parts of the eyes including the lens retina and cornea anterior lenticonus which is bulging of the lens forward into the anterior chamber rarely there is progressive thinning of the retina and macular holes may appear causing visual defects recurrent corneal erosions causing discomfort or severe eye pain photophobia blurred vision foreign body sensation and visual defects may occur additional symptoms may include aneurysms of the thoracic or abdominal aorta The symptoms associated with end stage renal disease are weakness and fatigue, changes in appetite, puffiness or swelling, poor digestion, excessive thirst and frequent urination. Now, how to diagnose the condition? Urine analysis which shows hematuria and protein urea, hematologic studies including uh, the routine blood tests as well as blood urea and creatinine. biopsy of the kidneys and skin genetic testing audiometry for hearing assessment ophthalmic examination for detection of anterior lenticonus as well as other eye lesions kidney ultrasonography for renal disease progression management depends upon the clinical condition of the patient it may be therapeutic or surgical angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers are used to reduce protein urea these drugs also have a role in slowing sclerotic progression antibiotics to treat bacterial infections statins and other supplemental therapy may be used according to the clinical symptoms and signs therapies under investigation include stem cells chaperone therapy and antimicroRNA therapy renal transplant in case of end stage renal disease Thank you for listening. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below.